Now, once the Wright brothers solved the problem of control and lift, they were now ready to add power to invention. But they always felt adding power would be the easiest part of their project. Because in America in 1903, there's quite a number of engine manufacturers in the country with automobiles. So if I just buy one, put it to the airplane. They wrote 15 of the manufacturers, gave them the specifications, only three specifications, produced eight or nine horsepower, were less than 200 pounds, and to run smoothly. But then they kind of mentioned they're going to put it to a flying machine. No one responded to the letters. So they were forced to design and build their own engine. The engine they built was 70 years ahead of its time. The engine was unheard of in 1903, became very common by the mid-1970s. This engine was the first ever use of aluminum copper, aluminum block engine. It has overhead cam, fired 1324, 12 horsepower after heated up. This is the gasoline tank. At this point, the gasoline tank held four tenths of a gallon of gas. Remember, they calculated they could run the engine for 18 minutes off of four tenths of a gallon of gas. The average airspeed that morning for the four power flights was 31 miles per hour. So when you, when you do the math, the machine traveled at 31 miles per hour in 18 minutes, this machine could fly almost nine miles if they were skillful enough to coach the machine that far. But remember, the Wright brothers were not skillful pilots that morning. They kind of really didn't know how to fly the airplane. And like I said, who's going to show them how to do it? This is the radiator. It was a water-cooled gasoline engine. The radiator is shaped this way because it didn't have a water pump that pumped the water through the block of the engine. So when the water came out of the block to the bottom of the radiator, the water was boiling hot. And that steam from that boiling water would rise to the top, get trapped in a little cup. Some of the steam were released at the top. Most would condense, turn back the cold water, and trickle back down. That's the way the engine cooled. This engine had one speed, wide open. So once the engine started, the airplane was ready to go flying. So they held the airplane back with a hook and a wire connected to the end of the runway. Everything checked out, Paul's ready to go flying, he just popped the hook. And when he landed, all he had to do now was shut the gasoline to off, on and off. That's how they shut the engine down. 